What's up, YouTube? This is Ryu Tachi here to bring you a anime discussion, a anime and manga discussion about the big three. And this will be my first video actually um, talking about it. Um, if you know my channel, I review Naruto and Bleach, but I don't really talk too much about it. And I never talk about One Piece on my channel. Not because I don't like it, I just don't talk about it. So, in this video, I'm going to be talking about pretty much the good, the bad, the ugly, the what, what um, opinions that I see about them online, and pretty much just everything concerning those three. So, I'm going to start off with, you know, I think Naruto. Seems like Naruto gets more hate. Uh, I mean, Naruto and Bleach to me gets more hate than One Piece by far, at least online. And I'm not, I'm not targeting people, but. I think some people overdo it with One Piece. I mean, like, Bleach, Bleach has its moments where I think it sucks. Um, and I think that's fair to say. I mean, it's not going to be perfect. But, I mean, where we're at now, with the, the in the manga, because I, I, uh, I skipped around the anime, so I pretty, I'm more mainstream manga for Bleach. So, I mean, where we're at now, I, mean, I think we're pretty good. I mean, we have some deaths. We've seen Zero Division, and we've seen, um, the Spirit King. And I, for one, didn't think we'd ever see the Spirit King or Zero Division. And, you know, I more or less figured, you know, we'd get talk of the Spirit King like we had before. But, you know, we it'd always be up to our, our imagination to what, um, it looks like. But, I mean, it seems like, you know, we're going to see the Spirit, well, we've seen the Spirit King. But it's not like we're going to see more of it. And it's going to actually interact with people, a.k.a. Ichigo. So, I mean, all in all, I mean, I think it's doing good. I mean, the only complaint, to me, the only complaint about the show would be um, Ichigo. Pretty much everybody who watches it, even if they like it or don't like it, Ichigo is always the problem. I mean, it's one move, like, you got Guess the Tensho. I mean, as, as some people on YouTube point out, his five moves are Guess the Tensho, Guess the Tensho, Guess the Tensho, Guess the Tensho, and final Guess the Tensho. So, it's like, I mean, how, you know, he got, he had. He had, and I think has, so much potential. I mean, he's a freaking human slash forebringer. Uh, Shinigami, and a Quincy, and a Hollow. Or Visor. And it's like he has one move. Like, I don't I don't even know if I can name an anime where someone is, is a, a combination of things and has one move. Like, I, that's my main and only complaint like come on like if he had one move from each that would be good like full brain if he used to um like maybe when he needs to save his Rietsu and obviously his full brain need to be stronger because full brain sucks um and you uh, know he got guess the attention show his Quincy like it maybe I don't think he's gonna learn a lot of Quincy powers but maybe if he just learned how to use boot bean like uh naturally instead of instinctively and if he did a Cero, a Cero, um, that would be good enough for me. I mean, that would be three other moves, and only got to be four moves that he could use other than just get attention. I mean, his four brings guys attention. His, um, his Shinigami's gets attention. His, his she got in Bankai's gets attention. The only time he don't do gets attention is when he's in uh, Hollow form, when my Hollow actually takes over, and that's when the Hollow just be beastly. I mean, we all know the Hollow. So I mean, that that would at least one move from each. Uh, species that he is um i think that'd be enough it'd be enough everybody's obviously everybody's not going to be happy but i think majority of people will be happy i mean full brain for backup gets good attention like you always have Sero and um blue bean that, that'd be good enough for me at least so anyway i mean i think all in all the show is good i mean fillers are going to be fillers i mean you can't you can't like you know i mean you can always you can drop season whatever the hell you want to but, I mean, you can't really judge your own fillers. Although, I kind of like the Zion Pock Toe Rebellion. Um, just to see the Zion Pock Toes. But, I mean, I think I think the show is decent. I mean, obviously it's decent. Like, people, like, the number one thing I hate on YouTube is people say that Kubo or Kishimoto is a horrible writer. Like, if they're such a horrible writer, then how the hell are they selling all these manga? You know, how are they, how, why is the manga so popular and everywhere? I mean, it's not like it's popular in Japan it's popular worldwide so obviously they're doing something right there but people always say that and I don't that just 
I don't know, it pisses me off. Like, you can't say these people are bad writers when, I mean, their work is so popular. And obviously, I mean, personally, if I review Bleach, obviously I think it's a good series. Now, I'm I'm not saying it's the best series. I don't even think I would put any of the big three in my top ten favorite anime slash mangas. But I still think it is a decent series. And um, same thing with Naruto. Naruto gets hates. Um, I think one, one of the manga chapters, I think it was called, like, I don't care. <laughs> I don't care or something. And, like, people were shocked, like, oh, Kishimoto. That was, that was Kishimoto saying he doesn't care. But, once again, like, you know, these manga cars go in every week to doing something new. Like, it's like, like, your job is not the same as their job. Like, your job, if you got a job, is pretty much going to be the same thing for however long you're working. I mean, to, at the core, the, the job is the same, but at the same time, it's different. Like, every week... They're going in and writing about these mangas, thinking about what they're doing next. They gotta remember every little thing that they did and make sure it makes sense to what they're doing so they can plan for what they want to do. I mean, it's a pretty hard job. Um, anyway, I mean, Naruto gets hate too. I, 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 I can understand, obviously, some of the hate, especially with this war. Like, you know, main complaint is war equals death, and there's been no death. But... At the same time, like, a lot of people want a lot of main characters to die. But in my opinion, that would be a horrible decision. I mean, it's a war. So, I think, uh, you know, a lot of non-popular characters are, like, nobodies. Nobody ninja, like, ninja number four. Like, those, those people can die. Thousands of them. And that would be good. And... For a main death, a main person to die, like, like people, like people were actually mad at Neji, but although Neji wasn't wasn't main in part two, he's still main for what he did in part one. I mean, he's the Kanoa I love, and the whole fight with Naruto was like so symbolic of the Chunin Zam, and you know he's the friend of Naruto, which played an important role. So I mean, he he is a main character. Kanoa I love are still main. They're just taking a side step for the show. I mean, look who they're fighting, you know. Obviously, they're not going to be, um, you know, front lines. So, I think his death was good and meaningful. Like, and that's also, like, it has to be meaningful. Like, you can't just say, oh, kill Eno because we don't like her. Because it wouldn't make sense. Like, for a main character to die, it has to um, improve someone. Like, you know, get someone some development. And among other things. So, I, I, I do think more main people need to die. By not just like 20 main people. Like, Guy Down would be good for lead development, and we hopefully would see the 8th gate. So now they should be dead because she's split in freaking half. Um, what's his name? Killer B Shoot could be dead, should be dead, and strengthen 10 tails. And, um, there's a few other people, you know. Like, main people, if they die, it needs to be a specific reason. And, um, I think people just are so obsessed with death. Like, like if everyone died right now, it would it wouldn't do nothing for a story. I mean, it just leave Naruto alone. He'd probably go crazy, and they will probably kill him more. They just leave him crazy. It wouldn't it wouldn't mean anything. So you know, if a main person is going to die, it needs to be meaningful. And lastly, that brings me to One Piece. Now, to me, One Piece is the main anime slash manga. That gets no hate, no hate online. Only only hate it gets is from Naruto fans, or not fans, but Naruto, uh, what's it called, fanboys or Bleach fanboys. But and I, I don't, I'm not, I, I don't consider myself a fanboy of any anime. If anything, I'll be a fanboy of Zoro, because if you look on my channel, well, I got like three or four AMVs of One Piece, and they're all Zoro. But anyway. I mean, I, One Piece, I think it's a good series. Um, I don't, I don't like pirates. You know, I don't care about pirates. But you know, they got the special powers and all the other fun stuff. The, uh, the Devil Fruits, and you know, hockey now. So I think it's interesting and it's fun. And One Piece is different because to me, like to me, majority of anime, um, like the character designs are more serious. Where One Piece, to me. It seems like everyone is like more comedic. Like even the bad guys look a little comedic to me, which I'm not falling. I think that's actually a strength 
to One Piece is that even like everyone it has isn't always different. It's not so serious. Um, but to me, my only problem with it would be its length. I mean, it's 600 episodes and it's pretty much 600 chapters of manga. And I don't know, it's too much. I mean, yeah, Bleach and Naruto is at that same point too, but Bleach and Naruto is about to end. Um, maybe within the next year or two. Whereas One Piece is still going. Um, he said that he had like another 10 years. Or, or he said half, he was halfway done. And it's been out, I'm 19, this has at least been out since I was 10. So essentially when I'm 30, it's going to be coming out. Or done. Which, I know for some people it's like, you know, yay, you know, we get more of the show. But to me, it's going to be harder for the uh, creator. Um... And I think harder for a fan to watch and enjoy. Like, if a series is 10 years, you're going to forget some stuff. I mean, Naruto has been out for, what, like, 5 to 7? At least in America, or, uh, out, or I've known it for that long. And it's stuff that I forget. Like, I have to re-look uh, it up, and I'm like, oh, yeah, I forgot that happened. Whereas One Piece, you know, if, it's, if, it's, if it goes on for 20 years... You're bound to at least forget half the stuff that happened. If, if it's not major, you're going to forget. I mean, like, you know, I can't imagine 20 years, you know, thinking about One Piece episode 20. Because I don't even know what the hell happened in, that, in episode 20 now. I can't imagine 10 years from now. So to me, that's the only problem. I think the pacing, I guess this is what I'm getting at. I think the pacing in One Piece is horrible. I mean... I don't think any series should have a thousand episodes or chapters. Or chapters are a little different. Episodes is a little crazy. Like, that's a hell of a lot of episodes. And it's just like, for memory's sake, it's pointless because you're not going to remember. So, I mean, I'm not saying Naruto and Bleach has the best pacing ever. Like I said, I don't even think I'd put it in my top ten. But their pacing is better than One Piece. Like, One Piece pacing is horrible. And for some some people like that though, uh, and I'm not faulting you. Like I mean, One Piece goes into detail about everybody. Like if I if I showed up in One Piece, you'd have my whole backstory, and then we move on to another person. Which some people like that stuff, but just personally, I like I don't like fast and I don't like slow. But if I had to pick, I'd go with fast because I just don't want to stay in the same spot forever. Whereas, like, One Piece, that's pretty much all it does, is it stays in one spot forever. Like, um, I know, I know a lot of people be like, oh, you need to see every single episode, because every single episode is important, and that is not true at all. Like, you cannot tell me that every episode is, um, freaking relevant. Like, I know a lot of people, um, in real life, on YouTube and some even bigger names on YouTube that have skipped an entire arc or a section you know whatever I don't know what they call it in one piece but um you know skipped a section and still know everything that is important like everything in one piece is not relevant because the pacing is so slow and that's my problem with it. like I think it's a good series like like I said I, I love the character design because it's different I like I like the story I don't even like pirates. And I, I like ninjas and freaking death gods more than I do a like pirate. But it's still, it's such a good story that I don't care if they're pirates. Because it's still a good series. Like, I would give One Piece, you know, a 9 out of 10. It's just, to me, the pacing is just horrible. Um, and I really don't think you can tell me that the pacing is absolutely great. I mean... I, I know it's not it's not the only anime or, or at least it's not I know it's not the only manga where the pacing is like that but as far as mainstream like there's there's a manga if I remember right, it's like 35 years and it's still going so I mean One Piece is by far not the worst but it's I would say it's the most popular um in that type of genre as far as like the length of it and but I don't know I don't care for the pacing of it but by, by no means in a, am I bashing one series or saying the other series is better. I'm just giving you my personal um, opinion on them. I think all are good. Um, I really don't know, like, you know, which one I would say is my favorite. Um, 
I mean, my, my YouTube name obviously comes from Naruto, Itachi, my videos, any AMVs that are One Piece or Zoro. So, obviously, I'm a Zoro fanboy. But, I mean, I don't, I don't really have a favorite. Um, I think they're all good series. I mean, you know, they're, they're obviously, they're worldwide popular. So, I mean, they're obviously good series. Like, for, for someone to say, oh, Naruto is trash, oh, Bleach is trash, or One Piece is trash, would, would be idiotic. Because, obviously, they're not trash. Now, you can say, personally, I don't like Bleach. Or, personally, I don't like Naruto. Personally, I don't like uh, One Piece. But, you can't just say the series sucks. Because, obviously, it don't. I mean, the fact that you know about it and you're in America shows that it is a good series. Just something personal that you don't, you don't enjoy. So, that is, that's my point. Like, a lot of people, this is also what I'm, I'm talking about in the videos. Like, a lot of people bash the manga cuss and the series. And I just think that's retarded, you know, to put it bluntly. Because, like, obviously, they know what they're doing, and they're doing something right, because it's freaking popular. I mean, when I freaking went to Japan, I seen, two, it was two, I, I didn't see Bleach, but I know Bleach is popular. But I seen freaking, one, I seen Luffy and freaking Naruto, like, everywhere I freaking went. So, I, obviously, there's some, they're doing something right there, and they're doing something right here for me to see it there. I mean, like, I, I went to, like, a store, like, a general food store, and I freaking seen Naruto... A cardboard sitting right there. I went to a freaking McDonald's and I seen a, a slot machine for One Piece. I mean, they're obviously doing something good to, you know, have that in Japan. And even here, I mean, I, I don't see that stuff here. But, I mean, it's popular. I'm reading it. You're reading it probably and watching it. Same thing. So, to just say that uh, someone sucks or a series sucks is just idiotic. I mean, I think you need to state that in your opinion this series sucks. Not that it sucks in its entirety because obviously it does not suck so that's pretty much my video um this video is a little longer here than most of my videos seeing this is almost 20 minutes but if you watched it all, i hope you enjoyed it don't for, don't forget to you know comment below um like the video thumbs up thumbs down uh, if you give it a thumbs down please tell me why at least and if you want to see more videos or more videos like this subscribe and um that's pretty much it. So this is Ryu Itachi signing out.